Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making a sausage cranberry herb dressing. Now you can exclude the sage pan sausage and cranberries and you'll have a delicious herb dressing that's perfect for your holiday meal. And here's how I do it. To start, I'm going to cube two pounds of French bread. You could use country white bread, use the bread of your choice. I'm using two loaves of French bread and that's one pound each. I'm going to try to cube them into half inch cubes or you can cube it smaller or if you don't want to cube it at all, use your hands and rip it apart into your desired size and shape. So once I'm done cubing my bread, I'm going to pile it onto two large baking sheets. And once I have sort of a single layer of bread, I'm going to put it right into the oven and I'm going to toast it or bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until everything is toasted. You'll want to be sure to work with a nicely toasted bread because that will in turn absorb the delicious broth or liquid that you're using to saturate your dressing with. So this is nice and toasty. Basically, it's like croutons. That's sort of the texture you're looking for. So I'm gonna let this hang out. And now I'm going to start working on my vegetables and aromatics and herbs. So here I have several celery sticks. I'd say something like six to eight. I have one medium onion. I have five cloves of garlic. And I like to add bell pepper to my dressing. I went ahead and cleaned the, the stem and seeds out. And if you don't like bell pepper, then don't use it. I, I did see some comments last time I made a dressing that some people liked bell pepper, some people didn't, but I like it. So here I have some fresh thyme that I'm going to be using and sage. Now I am not a huge fan of sage. I know, sorry, go easy on me in the comment section. <laughs> But I'm not eating this today. My husband and family are and they love it. So I'm going to make this for them. And by the way, let me clarify. I do enjoy using sage as an aromatic with dishes, but I just find chewing on it is a bit medicinal for me. It's just my personal opinion. I know people love sage out there, but that's just, you know, anyways, moving on. So here I have a skillet and I'm adding one stick of butter. This is eight tablespoons of unsalted butter and I'm going to melt it. And you'll notice the pan sort of has fond on it. I'll show you what I did later. Basically, I browned some sage pan sausage, but I will say it's optional in this because if you don't like sausage and cranberry, you can still make this recipe and make a delicious herb dressing. So I'm gonna melt this down and you can completely melt the butter, but I'm just gonna go for it. So I've already diced my onion, bell pepper and celery and I'm going to start sauteing these. I'm also gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add the minced five cloves of garlic, some pepper, and I'm just going to saute this until everything is translucent and nicely cooked. Oh, and I'm gonna add some pepper to taste. Okay, so once all of my onions, bell pepper, celery, garlic is sauteed, I'm going to add around two tablespoons of fresh thyme and two tablespoons of chopped sage. And this is towards the end of the cooking process, so you'll just sort of want to add it to the pan, give it a mix, and then just shut off the heat and set it aside until you're ready to put the dressing together. Okay, so now it's ready to put the dressing together. Here I have a really large bowl. You want a, a large bowl to work with to mix this up. I'm gonna add all of my cubed bread and it might be messy, just, you know, do what you can. So now I'm going to add that entire pan of sauteed celery, onion, and bell pepper with the fresh herbs. I'm gonna add that right into my bowl. Okay, so this next ingredient you can definitely use fresh. Here I have lightly dried parsley. I'm going to add around two tablespoons of lightly dried parsley. And it's optional if you don't have parsley, but I had it, so I definitely wanna use it. Now I'm going to add low sodium chicken broth. And I'm going to add something like six to seven cups. And I do find that there are two types of people in this world. 
they like a wet dressing or a very dry one or they like a little bit more crunchier texture to it so the chicken broth or stock that you use the amount is up to you and how you prefer your dressing but i want it to be nicely saturated and sort of like a bread pudding texture so now i'm going to be adding two large eggs that i've mixed and now i'm going to add that right into my bowl by the way i have made this without using the egg but my family does like the texture the egg gives when i make dressing so this is why i add it but if you just don't want egg in your dressing you can exclude it add a little extra broth now the texture will change slightly as the egg does give it a more bread pudding type texture but it definitely is up to you okay so at this point you have an herb dressing you could add this to a buttered baking dish bake it and be done with it but my husband actually a couple of people in my family even my sister they love dried cranberries and sage pan sausage in this because they love a good sage dressing so this is what i'm doing today so what i did is cooked one pound of store-bought sage pan sausage and i just broke it apart cooked it through and set it aside until i needed it like right now so i'm adding that to my dressing and i'm also going to be adding soaked dried cranberries and let me tell you it is a little extra step that i take but it really does enhance the flavor of this dressing. So what I do is in a bowl, I'm going to add eight ounces of dried cranberries, and then I'm going to add four ounces or half a cup of boiling hot water. Then I add another half cup of Calvados. This is an apple French brandy. And I like to soak the dried cranberries in this mixture for at least an hour or until I need it. I typically start with this and just let it hang out until I'm ready to put the dressing together. And it really does add just a hint of flavor to this. It's not alcoholic. It's not like eating rum raisin ice cream or something where you really taste the rum, but it's just a little something extra and special I do for the holidays. So these are just options that you can add to your herb dressing and the sausage and cranberry. You don't have to add it if that's not what you like, but the herb dressing itself is very delicious. So I'm going to combine this well. So once it's mixed well, I'm going to add it to a buttered baking dish. I am making a very large portion of dressing today. So I am using an 18 by 12 baking pan. This is a nonstick baking pan, but if you half this recipe, you can fit it into a nine by 13. But this recipe is basically double of what I would usually make. So I'm going to leave the instructions for this entire big pan of dressing this is perfect for a large family meal for the holiday so i'm just going to go ahead and just arrange the dressing into my buttered baking pan now i'm just going to cover it with aluminum foil I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour covered. Then after one hour of cook time, I'm going to uncover it and continue cooking it for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it gets toasty on the top. Once my dressing is ready, I'm going to remove it from the oven and just let it set for about 15 minutes before serving. And as you can see, it has a golden brown color on top and it goes perfect with your glazed holiday ham. By the way, I will leave the link to that recipe below this video. By the way, let's not forget that delicious, juicy, savory holiday turkey. And I also have a link for this recipe video in the description below. Either way, sometimes it is just about the sides and the dressing. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.